let's start our implant planning. Uh, before uh, choosing our implant, let me show you the layouts. Uh, we have four windows here. This window is just for a single view. Usually we do not use it. We have the other window to the left and the top. Uh, this is an important uh, layout that we uh, we use. We have the panoramic, we have uh, the cross section and the uh, and the reformatted uh, panorama. And this view, this is more like a medical view. It's like an axial coronal sagittal. Uh, we don't need it that much. Sometimes we need it, but it's not our default uh, way to evaluate our implant. So I will stick to the top left view. Uh, if you just go and click the implant control button here, you will get different uh, layouts. You can have it partitioned like this. You can have it focused like this, and you can have it uh, smaller, uh, over the, like a different layout. I will choose this one. You can add custom cuts from here. For example, if I want to add the axial, for example, I can add the axial. If I want to remove it, just click it again to remove it, and I can save this view for later. So right now it's OK. I have this layout. I haven't still uh, placed the implant, but we will have uh, those views, implant cross 1 and implant cross 2, to have a 360 degrees of rotation from uh, sagittal cut or from cross section cut and from longitudinal or coronal cuts. So let's see. I will stick to this. I will save it for now. And I will hide uh, the layout now. I will start with tooth number 36, lower left first molar. If you want to uh, get your cut in the middle, you can just uh, click on the wheel, keep clicking, and just drag. So you can move your uh, cut the way you prefer it. I will zoom. Okay, I, I can place my implant. So I will choose here, select implant. I have uh, the implant systems. It's ExoCAD and uh, I have here BioHorizons. Maybe there are too many models. I can go to my favorites, the ones with a star here. Uh, if I want to download more, I can click here and you will uh, be directed to the web where you have a list of implants and you can choose uh, which implants do you want to download from here? And you can fill in a sheet of uh, your email and your uh, account, and you will get uh, the implants. But remember, you have to restart ExoCare, ExoPlan. You have to restart the software from the start. If it's a new implant, has been, if it has been downloaded recently, you have to restart. So I will just close this, and I will choose the Taper Plus, for example. I want to place an implant... Uh, Let's see, I will place a long and wide implant and adjust them. For example, 4.6 by 12, for example. Okay, I have my implant. Confirm, and I can put it here. Let me maximize this one. Of course, the white limit is the safety margin. Uh, if the implant is, if I feel that the implant is too big, I can uh, reduce uh, the, the length from here instead of having to go and replace, or I can reduce the width from uh, the horizontal arrow from the green dot, or I can increase it again. So I will go uh, choose implant 3.8 by 12. I think it's fine. I can move the implant by dragging it. I can uh, tilt it from the apex or tilt it from the crest. Uh, if I want to have uh, uh, to remove the safety margin and control it, go to uh, settings and uh, the safety distance can be adjusted. You can adjust the safety distance. Uh, this is for the anchor pin and this is for the implant. So this is too big. This is too small. I can just leave it uh, or I can hide it. If I want to hide it, I can still hide it. So now we can go on. We have this tooth, this implant. 
if I uh, I have to select my sleeve, select surgical component. So I will choose the type of sleeve, maybe pilot, maybe full guided. Uh, I will choose the guided. It's fully guided. And I can click the kit that I want and just click confirm. Of course, I can also add a prosthetic component from select prosthetic component. And I have my implant here. I will maximize the 3D once again. I will hide my CT from a three dimensional view. Okay. And here you have your offsets. You can increase the offset or decrease it according to the case. Uh, here it seems to be fixed. Let's see uh, in the next implant, we can choose another uh, sleeve. These values are very important. So, so you know which drill to use and you, you know the offset for uh, this value for this implant. Okay, I can just move, check from different directions. Be sure you are in the, uh, you have a correct position with the wax up. You, if you have an angled abutment, we'll see this uh, later, you can uh, rotate from here. Okay, so let's go to the next tooth to place an implant. Tooth number uh, 37. I can place the implant from the cross section here. Maybe here I can have uh, more diameter. So I can increase my diameter. I can uh, replace the implant from here. I will choose another model. I can place this one. Confirm. I can increase or decrease the diameter. I can increase or decrease the length here. And I will select the surgical component. I will choose this leaf for this time. Let, let me choose let me choose this one. It's fully guided. And confirm. You see here, I will maximize the 3D. If you have a sleeve collision, for example, uh, with, the, with the model, you can increase the height of the sleeve according to the next drill. So you can increase the, the, the offset, the distance between the sleeve and the top of the implant. The top of the sleeve is called offset distance. So you can increase it if you have a collision with the anatomy or with the model, you can increase uh, the height of the sleeve. Okay, so this one is fine. I have to check from different uh, angles, of course, and I have to do, let me get the implant control, and I have th those two views. These are very important to check from a 360. Look, I will maximize this one and I will start. Let me, 
I will start rotating. I will start rotating to see if I have any uh, proximity to any other structure or other implant. Okay, you can also choose the other cut from implant control. Let me show you this on the 3D. You see those two cuts, I will rotate them. The ones that I'm rotating, one of them for 360 degrees from one angle and the other from the perpendicular angle. So I can uh, move and see the different implant angles. Okay, so those angles are perpendicular or are uh, perpendicular to each other and and related to the implant. So I can move them together and see from uh, those two cuts. Okay. Uh, one tip is that you never try to uh, to adjust the implants from uh, the 3D view. It's not uh, preferred to do this. Try always to adjust them from the 2D views. It's better, it's more accurate uh, to adjust them from the 2D views.